What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this loading bar from scratch in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, leave a like below, and let's get started. So I'm working in a new project in Premiere Pro, and the only thing I've got loaded up in my project media bin right now is a sound effect that I found on freesounds.org of this weird loading sound. So let's generate a loading bar from scratch in Premiere Pro, and hopefully this will be a fun project for you to learn a bunch of different effects in the control panel and what they all do, even if you don't want to make this loading bar. So to begin, I'm going to go to File, New, Black Video, and I'm going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 because that's a good size for YouTube. I can just click and drag this black video onto the project timeline to create our new sequence. Next, we want to create a new bar. So just for contrast purposes, I'm going to go to File, New, color mat, and I'm going to choose a white color mat. I can now take this from my project media bin where it should pop up and drag it on top of that black video background to create a second layer. So to turn this into a bar, I'm going to go to the effects control panel and search for one called crop. I'm going to click and drag this on the color mat and in the effects control panel, you should see it pop up and I'm just going to take a little bit off of all the edges. So from the left side, I'll take 20%. From the right side, I'll take 20%. And from the top and bottom, I'll take 45% each. Cool, now we're left with just one little strip or bar. Next, I want to add some color into this. So instead of adding a solid color, I'm actually gonna search for one called Ramp in the Effects panel and click and drag that onto my color mat. Now you can't really tell what's happening, but by default, this creates a black to white gradient or ramp, and I just hid the crop by pressing this FX button so you could see that. But I wanna make it kind of red to green. So under the ramp effect, I'm gonna click the start color, make it red, and for the end color, I'll make it green. And I actually want to adjust the positioning of these to be a little bit more left to right. So I'm gonna move that all the way to the left and that all the way to the right, and we've got more of a gradient now. So I'll turn that crop back on so you can see it. And we've created a bit of a red to green strip. Now this is nice and minimal, but let's add some stripes into it just to give it a nice blocky texture. So I'm gonna search for an effect called Venetian Blinds. This is actually a transition effect. So I'm gonna click and drag it onto my color mat, but we don't have to animate it. We can just set the transition completion to a certain amount and you can see it adds lines into our bar and kind of separates things into actual bars. So you can adjust the width of this to spread them out as far or as thin as you prefer the aesthetic to be, but just choose a combination of width and transition completeness that allows the first and the last bars to kind of be a little bit even. You don't want to cut them off halfway. So this looks good to me. Now we want to animate this from left to right. So although I could work in the original crop to do this, this is the way my brain works and in this workflow that I feel like makes more sense to explain, I'm going to add another crop effect on top and all of these effects stack in order on this clip. So the ones that you applied last will affect everything underneath them. So we're gonna animate from left to right just by clicking on this stopwatch icon on the right hand side at the very beginning of the clip and turning the percentage up all the way to 100% and then move over to the end and reset it back to zero. And that'll give us a animation from left to right of this bar charging up. Once you got your basic animation from left to right, you can add a little extra finishing touch by searching for an effect called Alpha Glow and adding that on there. It gives it a little bit of a glow. If you want, you can adjust the color of this, you know, instead of white, you can make it glow red or glow green to red. And you have options to adjust the glow amount and the brightness. So this adds a nice interesting touch to it if you want, like you saw in the beginning example. But our actual loading bar is pretty much done at this point. If we wanna create some nice text that says loading, 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 complete, let's grab our type tool and create a new text layer a little bit underneath the image. So I'll type in loading. And I'm gonna use a font called VCR OSD Mono. It's a pretty classic VCR type of glitch font. Uh, I'll throw in a dot, dot, dot in there just for style. And if I wanna center this, I can go to the Essential Graphics panel 
and click this align horizontal center button to center it and just position it you know a little bit under the text if i want you could even do it on the bar if you like that aesthetic too and i'm actually going to search for an effect called strobe to place on this one. So this is gonna allow the text to flicker on and off. In the effects control panel, under the strobe effect, let's turn the strobe type into makes layer transparent. That'll make this text transparent. So now it's blinking on and off every half second. So that's a pretty decent speed, I guess. If you want, you can make it a little bit faster. You can make it blink every half second on and for every 75 and that'll keep it on a little bit faster, make it blink a little bit shorter. But now I wanna just trim that clip so that it starts only right when the bar starts, so right there. So now we've got a loading bar and blinking text. But once it gets complete, I'm gonna actually make it say complete. So I can just duplicate this previous layer by holding Alt and click dragging it over and grabbing my type tool for this one and just highlighting it and changing it. So. I'll make it say complete, and then I will center that one as well in the essential graphics panel horizontally. So I want this not to have any strobes on it because this is gonna stay solid. So in the effects control panel, I'll delete the strobe light off of this one and make it start right here when the bar is complete. So now when I play that back fully, we get loading, 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 complete, and I can actually add that fun sound effect at the bottom, kind of crop it in, just to the part that I want so that it has this interesting loading noise. Now, if you saw in the beginning, I kind of stylized it up with a little glitchiness and texture, and you can easily do that by highlighting all of this, but not the black video background, and then right-clicking, nesting that into one sequence. So now it's all on one layer. We can actually move this nested sequence around wherever we want, and it still plays animated. And I actually just duplicated this nested sequence, so kind of duplicated the whole loading bar, and added an effect called Wave Warp. This is a common one you've seen in my previous glitch tutorials, where I'll add the Wave Warp effect onto it, that gives it a little bit of a weird glitchiness, but you can actually turn that effect into, instead of sine wave, I prefer noise. And what I did in the beginning was just kind of fade this noisy thing out, by fading that nested sequence out and fade the clean version in and kind of create some texture on the original. So in the end, you get this interesting loading bar effect. And even if you may not ever want to create this loading bar in Premiere Pro, it'd probably be more clean to do it in After Effects. Through this fun project, hopefully you learned about different effects like the generating ramp tools, cropping, wave warp, nesting sequences, and all those things we did in the process. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below, consider subscribing if you want more videos like these, and go follow me on social media at Justin OD Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to stay in touch with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.